Hi everyone, today is Monday, the 23rd of January 2017. And there's this one tweet here by John Coleshaw, the Impressionist. And it says, symbolism everywhere today. Just like you have Illuminati Freemason symbolism. I'm not sure who this guy is. I don't think he's the Dalai Lama. But is he some sort of Muslim guy? I have no idea. But, um... <clears throat> Look. A sharp-looking day around Elephant and Castle. Just like you have this Elephants in the No Church in the Wild video by Kanye West. This elephant represents idolatry and worshipping the image of the beast. Because everybody who is cast out of heaven at the end of days will be made to worship the image of this beast. Worshipping this elephant represents worshipping Satan. <clears throat> yes, those tusks represent Satan's horns. <clears throat> Here comes Donald Trump with his Freemason hand gestures. And John Colshaw and Susanna Reid ended up doing the same Freemason hand gestures on Good Morning Britain. When he was trying to do an impression of Donald Trump and he successfully pulled it off. Pierce is actually laughing. Um, yes, he's laughing because John Colshaw is funny. But he's also laughing because... Um, well, it's because he's actually laughing because we, the, certain members of the public, can't work out the symbolism. So he's mocking us because he's he's like the rich Freemason guy. <clears throat> So, the thing is, when Pierce says controversial things, everybody thinks it's funny. But when Trump says controversial things, everybody gets offended by it. <clears throat> so, I mean, look at this. This is why Kingpin represents Donald Trump and Satan. Because, number one, both... Kingpin and Trump are both rich Freemasons, and they both have helicopters. See Trump doing that thing with his sleeve? Just like Kingpin's doing the same thing with his sleeve hair. <clears throat> see Kingpin's thumb is up? Just like Trump's thumb is up, see? God have mercy on us all. The Destroyer, the Kingpin, coming. Kingpin, the King of the Illuminati, Satan. Some people say that they think Trump's hair is not real. If he is actually bold, then that would work perfectly because Kingpin is bold. <clears throat> this guy, he may be an idiot, but at the same time he's clever. And that leads to a dangerous individual. Like, he, he, he knows what to do. He knows what to say to get his own way. Look at this as well. The Falcons are going to the Super Bowl. They represent just like Falcon in the Avengers. Also, the eagle granted to the woman of Revelation 12. Now... This whole thing about Madonna singing about blowing up the White House. Um, well. 
it's just like nuking the White House. I mean, who knows? It could be a nuclear bomb. It could be a normal bomb. Like, <sighs> to be honest, it goes all the way back to 9-11 when they nearly crashed one of the planes into the White House. I mean, who knows, now that Madonna's sang that, some idiot might actually do it, or try to do it, and Madonna will get the blame for it, if it happens, it's her own fault. All it is, Madonna's decreased in popularity lately, and she thinks that saying controversial things will get her back on the radar. Well, I'm sorry, love, your time's up. Everyone's career comes to an end in the end. Look, I'll admit, sometimes Paris does make me laugh. But... I don't like the bloke much because, n number one, he slagged off Star Wars, even though he's never seen it. And he said that it had no story, even though it has, like, probably the best story of all time. And, like, <clears throat> and also he went up against Jesse Ventura in a certain interview. <clears throat> Now, um, Google it. I'll, I advise you to Google it. And, because th there's a clip of that, the interview in question on YouTube. Um, but, yeah, I mean, Jesse Ventura, in, in my eyes, he's a legend. So, Piers going up against somebody who I consider a legend, well, it's not going to go down with me. It's not going to go down well with me. <clears throat> like, I mean, Jesse says something about, oh, maybe President Bush was somehow involved with 9-11. Like, with plotting to um, make the planes go into the towers. <clears throat> and then Pierce says something along the lines of, oh, that's ludicrous. You can't honestly believe that the president have had anything to do with that. <clears throat> so straight away, Pierce dismisses what, Jesse is saying. I mean, certain. I, I believe there's a certain episode of Conspiracy Theory with Jesse Ventura that was banned, and it be and it's because the Illuminati and Freemasons had a hand in banning that episode because it shows because it exposes some some of what they do <clears throat> like they don't want too many members of the public knowing their secrets because they wouldn't be they wouldn't be very good secret societies if everybody knew their secrets because if everybody knew their secrets they would no longer be secret obviously like see this right here here's the heavenly woman of revelation 12 character Tina Goldstein, played by Catherine Waterston. In this film, The Theory of Everything, 
we have Felicity Jones, who plays the Heavenly Woman of Revelation 12 character. That's why she's wearing blue for Jesus and Israel and Jacob. Notice how Eddie Redmayne's in both films. The Theory of Everything and Fantastic Beasts. <clears throat> so. She is the Felicity Jones character in this movie. Catherine Waterston is. And she is the Catherine Waterston character in this movie. Felicity Jones is. So this is the, these are both love stories, right? Just like uh, going to the wedding feast of the Lamb, which is basically Jesus's wedding that is going to happen in heaven. See these pillars and arches. That has a lot to do with the Freemason royal arch. So you see this timer thing, you can see the Illuminati pyramids there, can't you? Also represents that time is running out. See? Hannah's spirit plays Abby, the heavenly woman of Revelation 12 character, in this one TV series called Prime Evil. It was a very good program, I'm so annoyed that, well, it's not carrying on. Um, but anyway, see the green for Islam, both on this creature <coughs> and on the landscape there. <coughs> this creature is called Rex. See how Rex is physically rising up, and that represents Islam rising up. God have mercy on us all. Rex represents the ego. Granted to the woman of Revelation 12. See the wings? Just like the wings of the ego. See? So this creature is called Rex. Just like you have Captain Rex in Star Wars. And just like you have a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Remember this story, sorry, this series, Primeval, has got dinosaurs then as well. Notice how Captain Rex is a clone that stays on the good side. <clears throat> and, that, and that is why he wears blue for Jesus. And why it's for heaven. Because he's on the side of the Christians. God have mercy on us all. Maybe he could represent just like Captain America. <clears throat> Captain Rex. Captain America. I know I've said many times that I think Captain America represents Jesus. So surely that would mean that Captain Rex represents Jesus as well. Tyrannosaurus. Tyrannus. He's, he's a beast. He's a beast. Wearing black for the darkness. See? Just like Isis and Batman also wear black for the darkness. Keep faith in Jesus and God. And I'll see you all at the wedding feast of the Lamb. <laughs>